Hello and welcome again. I've just wanted to go through a little demo of an application I just built. Nothing uh, super exhaustive or whatever, but it's just a way um, I've run into a couple times being able to extract. Uh, I would like to extract text from images without having to, you know, actually read the text and type it in myself. So there's a slick little plugin or library for Python, uh, OpenCV, that allows you to do this. So I've just built a little web interface to and a Flask application to allow you to extract any sort of text from a variety of images. It does help if the images are black and white, uh, black text on a white background, but I, I I'll go over and show you uh, some of the text that we'll be running. So here's the first image that we're going to try to pull up. It's um, just gamification principles, and if you notice, it's actually a varied contrast, so an uh, autonomy, things like that. So that's what we're going to go ahead and try to uh, run through right quick first. There you have it. And then we just hit extract. So this is what I want to do. I want to run a comparison right quick to show you. So gamification principles. There we have it. Uh, autonomy. We like having choices. So it does run it all together. But as you could see, you could actually it it actually does ext extract the text out of it, and you could just you know take this and copy it into you know whatever document that you're running. So we'll run another one. And here's um, a n news article that I pulled off of um, Business Insider. So we're just going to try to pull this text out of here and see what we get. So we just hit choose file once again. Go into that folder. Load it up and hit extract. It does take some time, but so there you have it. Netflix stock surged as much as 15% on Wednesday after fourth quarter earnings beat forecast. Wednesday after fourth quarter beat forecast. The video streaming service. So you see, it actually does a really good job of pulling off a lot of the text all the way down to capitalization, as you could see in the actual image that the text was extracted from. And we'll do one last image. So this is going to be uh, what is this image? So I think this is another one from Business Insider. We'll get a different different format. So here's actually one from, okay, so this is straightforward. It's one from my book, actually, Content Weapons, that you can see this is based on. So we're going to go ahead and load that file and see what we get out of it. And as you can tell, once again, these are straight images. So dedication, love always dad, and here's the actual image that the text was extracted from. So, like I said, I don't know how much uh, work you might do with uh, images and, and, and needing to text out of it. For students, you know, you could take a screenshot of a, of a PowerPoint going on or some document going on, um, some presentation, and then use that to extract the text out of it to add as a point of reference in your research or whatever you may deem not just personal, but, you know, you could use this in your business um, to do some, some competitive intelligence, you know. Uh, take a screenshot of competitors' websites and ads that they're running, and then extract that, and then compare those keywords based on what you're running, things like that. So, the uses are once again, you know, limited only by your imagination. I hope this has offered some insight into a, a variety of the technologies that are free and available out there if you just dedicate the time to it, and you can ab actually, absolutely enhance and increase your effectiveness and productivity. Thank you again. Take care.